Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Janrika and this is Rika Life. This is a yarn and crochet channel and so that's what I will be sharing with you today. Uh, today I have a couple of finished objects to share with you and then I might crochet a little bit with you as well. That's yet to be seen. So I have some car projects. Uh, car projects just means whips that I keep in my car. So if I have 15 or 20 minutes, if we're driving somewhere far, an hour away, I get to work on those projects. So I have a moss stitch baby blanket that I'm making. And I also have a corner to corner that I'm making. So I might be working on one of those a little bit later in today's video. So I wanted to share with you a few finished objects first. And the first one is actually from Juan the Yarn Addict. Uh, earlier this year, he had a spring crochet along and I did join that. I used my Mandala bonus bundle in Giant and this is just as far as I got. I didn't finish the crochet along, but this is as far as I got. And it's funny because now I'm opening it, it, opening it and it actually seems like it's a decent size. So. It's a really nice size for a baby blanket. You can see some of that detail up close. Um, this was not a very difficult crochet along. I mean, up to at least the part that I did. I think I finished two parts of it or maybe three parts. And I think there were six parts. So I would consider this to be a really nice kind of beginner to intermediate project because none of the stitches were too complicated and he explained all of them very well. So if you're looking for a smaller project to work on, this is a really good one. And um, I would definitely recommend you checking out Juan's channel. He has lots and lots of tutorials and videos and he, I think he posts like almost every day. So this again was a Mandala bonus bundle in the color Giant and I of course didn't finish that one cake. I still have more left over, but this is as far as I got. And then I pretty much just called it quits. I was like, I'm done with this. I need to move on and work on other projects. So the line brand mandala yarn is the same as the bonus bundle yarn. So this is the three weight. So it is a light three weight, but just look at that stitch definition. It's very, very good yarn. So if you've never tried out Lion Brand Mandala, I would definitely recommend you trying it out at least once. It's one of my all-time favorite yarns. And I think I have used, have worked through my bonus bundles. I had it in Giant, and then I also had one in Spirit, which I made a baby blanket out of. I might have some of that left over. So I do have some leftovers. Uh, yet to be seen what I make with those scraps or, you know, partial cakes, but that was a fun project to work on while I was working on it. It's been sitting in my pile for a while and I just picked it up and I decided that I'm done with it. So let's just move it out of the whips and kind of like just get it done. So I still have to weave in the ends on that one. I haven't done that yet, but that project is complete. And finished and no longer on my list. So getting to the main things of today, I told you that I am preparing for a fall festival at my son's school. And so I'm making a bunch of keychains. I'm making a bunch of like toy keychains, toys on keychains, I guess. And so this is the first one. I have put it on my stand and I'm going to show you my stand. I made these flower keychains. This is not my pattern. This pattern will be linked in the description box below. This is what they look like. They all have faces. They're all going here and there, but this is what they look like. They all have faces on them and they're all these beautiful flower keychains. So I made 10 of them. I made eight in the rainbowish color and then two in this pastel color. I'm going to link all the information about it down below. Uh, for the center of the flower, the yellow, 
the yarn I used is a acrylic cotton blend so it's holding the stitches very well there's great stitch definition and then I've just used uh, Karen Simply Soft in black to embroider on the faces and I have stuffing in the middle and then the outside is actually uh, Michael's uh, Loops and Threads Facets yarn the facets, uh, of course, I don't remember the colorway, but this is all one colorway and then this is another colorway. Now, I'm just planning on hopefully displaying them something like this. I am making other keychains, so I am going to be making more keychains, not all of this. I'll show you one up close. Here, I'll just hold it and show it to you up close. So that's what it looks like and the back. Is like that and I put the keychain there and so these were really fun to make I really really enjoyed making them this was not my first time I've made some before and donated them to the hospital and what was I gonna say yeah so the uh, the pattern is not very difficult at all but I just decided to do it in steps so what I did first is I made all of the, these two these two yellow pieces the front and back and I made them all and I kept them all and then I would go one by one and I uh, embroidered on the faces of all of them and then then I worked on them individually so then I uh, created the circle and put the stuffing closed it and then I made the petals and then I left them and then when I was done all of them then I put on the keychains on all of them I just find it easier to work in batches so whatever part needs to be done individually I will do that separately but whatever can be done in batches I like to do it like that just because I was making 10 of them so that's the main thing I wanted to share with you today it's so so cute it's really soft too you can kind of put these petals so that they're you know kind of giving like a different look I haven't really adjusted any yet because I just put them on that stand and I've been making other things so what else am I making you may ask I am planning so I'm already making footballs I'm making these tiny little football keychains I made one so far I'm on my second I think now it'll get faster I kind of like slow down in the last two days um and I wasn't feeling all that great, so I didn't get to really work on it that much. I was mainly just taking care of myself. But now I'm feeling a little bit better, so I'm going to sit and work on the footballs. Uh, I'm planning to make at least five. I think I'm just going to make five, maybe not ten. And this stand actually can be modified. So these pieces can go around on that side like that. This can be moved, I think. Yeah, this moves as well, and this moves as well. So everything here moves. So it can be put in any kind of direction that I choose, which is really nice. I appreciate that, that it moves. So, you know, even putting it like this, that looks pretty cool. It gives some space. And maybe I can put some more things in the middle. But this is my second time using this stand. I used it last year. And I actually ended up um, putting my shawls on there. I hung them with hangers and I was trying to put my shawls on there. That stand is from, I want to say it's from Amazon. I think it's from Amazon. And yeah, it's it's, a, it's been working fine so far. I just remembered that in my when I did the sale, I had to put something at the bottom to hold the base. So I think I just put like a book or something or my journal on to hold the base down because that day was very windy. So this sale is actually happening at the end of October, so I'm not really sure what the weather will be like. But if you have any ideas on how I can display these keychains, I think right now how I have them is a is great, but of course I'm making more. So I'm going to have right now I have 10 pieces, 15. I mean, I might have like 25 to 30 pieces. I might even have more. Oh yeah, so I was going to tell you what else I'm planning to make. I have a whole list, but I'm going to see based on what kind of patterns I find and the how easy they are and how quick they are. But I made these flower keychains and I'm making footballs. I might make donuts. 
I might make dinos. I might make whales. Uh, what else? I might make a heart. I might make, I feel like I'm missing something. Yeah, there were a couple others, but I'm just going to see how it works out. I'm not really 100% sure yet what else I'm going to make, but that is what I've been working on and I've been really excited about it. So give me one second and I'm going to pull out my whip and we can continue talking just a second here. All right, so I pulled out my car whip and this is the whip you saw me working on earlier in one of my earlier videos. I am making a corner to corner something. I haven't decided yet. So this is what it's looking like so far. It started off with the maroon and now it's going into this kind of neon purple color. So the reason I chose these two cakes was because they were round similarly, but they are not moving at the same time. So I guess it will look okay. So what happened is one of them, one of them completely changed to purple and the other was still maroon. Now they finally both are purple, but the other one's going to change. So I guess it'll have some, a different effect on it. Uh, I'm using line brand Mandela yarn and this is a yarn called Andorian. I'll just show that to you here. It's called Andorian. Those are the specs. And that's the front. That's Mandala yarn. This is one of their newer colors that came out this year. They came out with a bunch of new colors. I feel like this and maybe Kraken are the only two that I've tried so far. And I do like them so far. I am holding two strands together and I'm using a J6 millimeter hook. To work on this project. I do have my tea with me today. Hopefully it's not already cold. Nope, it's still a little warm. Okay. So yes. September is just flying by. I cannot believe it. I feel like, I feel like we just blinked and the whole year is just going by so so fast it's moving at an incredible speed and you know they say good times go by fast so i'm going to take it as a good sign that things are going well things are good and so time is not feeling excruciatingly slow it's feeling very joyfully fast so that is a good thing it's just that you know i don't i don't feel like i'm ready for fall and Neither is Texas. I mean, it's still super, super hot here. It's still in the 90s and touching hundreds and it's not fall here yet. We did get our, we did get the, past the first day of fall officially on the 22nd, but it is not fall weather here yet. I am so looking forward to it, just being able to go for a walk at any time of the day. Today I'm actually recording this when I'm supposed to be on my walk, but I decided that I wanted to record my video first and then I will go for my walk later. That's just how much I missed you all and missed my crochet time. So that's why I wanted to do it. I'm going to tell you the little trick that I do with the corner to corner. This is not something I came up with. This is something I've watched in many, many videos is that when you are going to the next block you will slip stitch and then chain two instead of chaining three that creates a more dense fabric and that I feel looks better so I have always been doing that ever since I learned about that these are just like small tips and tricks you know that you learn as you go through your crochet journey if you haven't already, then definitely check out my community tab. I make posts there almost every day and you can stay updated on what's happening in my world kind of in real time. I post video, not video, <laughs> pictures. Sometimes I'll have a poll. Sometimes I'll have a quote. Just something to stay connected with you because I know I don't publish a video every day like some people do. That's just uh, not a, you know feasible for me right now at this point in life so I haven't made myself do that 
Okay, this is the second trick, is that when you're starting a new row, I chain five instead of chaining six. And that again also creates that denser fabric and it creates less holes. And that's usually what I like when I'm making baby blankets. I don't like to have big gaping holes. So I generally don't do any, you know, fillet type project for baby blankets. I don't think I have. Maybe I have. I might have, but generally I don't because we don't want baby's fingers getting stuck in the blanket. So, okay. So what was I saying? Now I, I cut myself off, but what was I talking about? I don't even remember. Anyhow, so my little nephew is, oh, he's going to be two weeks old soon. <laughs> and, uh, I still haven't made him anything yet. Please, please, please let me know in the comments or shoot me an email, send me some pictures. I need some inspiration on what to make for him. I feel like a blanket is not, uh, how should I say? A blanket is not my first choice for something to make for him. Excuse me my blank so yeah making I love making blankets you know I love making blankets but I feel like that's kind of the easy way is to just make a blanket for him but I don't want to just make a blanket for him I want to make something really special so I am on the hunt for something really different and really fun and doesn't need to be a blanket it could be a toy it could be um I don't know what else but my brother-in-law tells me that my nephew keeps looking at the crochet piece that is on their wall that I gifted them. And so I know he will like it. I just don't know that he will like having a blanket on him. I feel like he he's more free. He doesn't like to be bundled up. So I don't want to make a blanket that won't even be used. I'd rather make something uh, that he will be able to enjoy as he grows up. And... I had seen a pattern, I don't think it's here, but I had seen a pattern for a bunny rabbit and I feel like it was in yellow color and I actually have yellow burnout blanket yarn. So I'm thinking if I can make a bunny rabbit and I don't know what the size is going to turn out to be. Like, I don't know if it's going to be this big or like huge. I feel like it's going to be bigger. And so... I, I don't, I mean, I don't even know if I have enough stuffing. Um, there is one designer, if I can recall her name, I'll put it here uh, on the video, but she kind of designs like, I want to call them rag dolls. And all that means is that they are dolls, but they're not completely stuffed. So like maybe just the face will be stuffed and then the rest of the body is kind of like hollow and then maybe like the feet are stuffed or something like that. So maybe I'll go and check her out and see if I can find a bunny rabbit pattern or if you just know of something cool I can make that's yellow because I have yellow yarn. So thinking of just doing something in all yellow. The only other blanket yarn I have is like a variegated Bernat blanket which is called water slide variegated I think and that is different shades of blue. That yarn is like very busy so that wouldn't really show much stitch definition or much design. So I'm kind of not thinking of using that. I'm leaning more towards the yellow color. So if you have any ideas, what else I can make? I mean, just the, off the top of my head, I'm thinking like I could make a duck, but then I'd need some orange. I don't have orange, at least not like blanket yarn and orange. So. I'm open to your suggestions and your ideas. Please do let me know what I can make. And once I have some options, then I'm definitely going to make a poll and put it in the community post. And then you can help me even further by voting on what I should make. So let's do that. How about you guys give me your comments here and then I'm going to make a poll and then I'll decide from there. I can buy more yarn that's not an issue but i just want to try and use what i already have i'm also thinking now i've seen people make like these crochet books for babies um i 
feel like Terry over at the Yarn, Yarn Joy podcast has made something like that. I feel like she has made something like that. So maybe I'm going to head over to her channel and just check if I can find that. That, I mean, that is seems to be at least from you know my first thought is that that might be a lot of work but it might be really cool because who has a crochet book nobody like you know it's it's something that can be an heirloom for sure and just something so precious so okay I'm gonna look into that I don't know if the baby will like to play with that from now but I do have tons of like worsted weight yarn that could work for that so if you've made a crochet book before, let me know. Look at how the colors are changing. So the only purple is now changing to like a dark. Can you see it there? The darker purple is starting now. I guess this is okay. It still kind of looks like a gradient. And I have no idea what I'm making with this. I am using two balls together. Each ball is 590 yards, almost 600 yards of yarn. So if I make this into a triangle shawl, I feel like it's going to be huge. If I make it into a baby blanket, then honestly, once it gets big enough this way, then I will start decreasing. So it's definitely not big enough yet. I would still want it to be, you know, up to the top here of my screen. So maybe another four to five rows and then I could start decreasing. We'll have to see how it goes. It's turning out good though. You can see like it's very dense. So it's very thick and it's very squishy. I think it'll be a nice baby blanket. I don't know who it's going to. Don't ask me that. That is my daughter's number one question. Mom, who are you making this for? And I'm always like, dear, I'm not making it for anyone in particular. I am just making it. So I gave my husband my entire bag of hats the other day to take to the hospital with him and yeah there were about I don't know 30 40 maybe hats in there not baby hats maybe I said there were 30 to 40 hats in there and some of them are like more winter hats because they were made with bulky yarn that I got on clearance at Hobby Lobby I think I still have some black left but those are like bulky hats that I was thinking like actual fall and winter weather. But he said it's totally fine. It's cold in the hospital and the patients will appreciate it. So I said, okay, just go ahead, take the whole bag. So now once I'm kind of done with uh, these things for the sale, making some of these things, then I'm going to be making hats again. Lots and lots of hats. So get ready for those videos again. I do have, so right behind me, I don't think it's in the script in the shot but on this gray box I have some more of my Karen skinny cakes and I may be making more of my fresh air hats with that that pattern turned out really good with that yarn and I used an H5 millimeter hook so you can go back to my videos from July I shared that hat many times and also I have a tutorial on my channel for that so look out for that it's linked down below this video in my tutorials playlist and you can watch that and you can make that I've just made some modifications so in the video I make the crown and then I start the design and then I have two more increased rows and then I continue the pattern with the ones I made for donations I didn't do those extra two increased rows so instead of doing two rows with double crochets with increasing, you can just do one or two rows with just double crochets. So don't increase at all and your hat will turn out fine. At least with that, with that yarn, with the Karen Skinny Cakes. So yeah, that's that hat. I will be getting back to that for sure. I haven't tried making any of my other hats but I think I should. So one of the hats that was a big hit at the hospital was actually a bucket hat that I made with the Hirschner Sweet Swirls yarn. And I think the color was called 
bright baby or bright pop something like that it was like neon colors it had orange and yellow and green that was just my bucket hat pattern so I might make more bucket hats but instead of thinking of like a bucket hat for summer only I'm thinking of like a fall bucket hat so I not sure what yarn I would use for that I do have some Hirschner sweet swirls left but that's in like a very soft blue color I'd rather use like more brighter colors so I do have a sample made in Karen Simply Soft in what is it neon pink and well I might not even have that anymore I might have already given it away but I think the Karen Simply Soft worked really well with that too so I do have I do have some bright colors in Karen Simply Soft so I might use that uh, I just want them to be really like fun and happy hats you know I mean some of them were black but maybe people like the color black for a hat because it goes with everything but the, I feel like the colorful ones kind of just get more more of a reaction because they're really like fun and in your face instead of being very like muted colors anyways people like everything so it's fine so on that note of the yarn in my yarn closet reminds me that I was gonna join two crochet alongs and one of them started last Friday it's already been a week I haven't even touched that yet the other one I think starts this Friday I have not picked out any yarn for either of them and I have not decided when I'm going to work on them I think if I want to work on them then I really need to like plan it out because it's not going to just happen so these are crochet alongs where it's released one week at a time and there are I don't think there are videos for them I'm not 100% sure I don't think there's videos though but there's a written pattern so the written pattern has photos with it so it's more of like a photo tutorial which I think is excellent because that's the way that you know newer more novice crocheters can learn how to crochet because you're showing them step by step it's almost better than a video I feel sometimes because then you don't have to rewind and go back and then do it again you just can look at the instructions so of course for me I never print out any of this but they do have printer friendly versions and the printer friendly version I think has no pictures in it it just has the pattern written out so there's two crochet alongs the first one oh my gosh okay the first one is by Helen Shrimpton and that's called Winnie's Wonder and I believe that starts uh, tomorrow which will be September 27th I think um, the other one um, started last week called it the Thea Afghan T H E I A and who is that by I can't even remember now I'll it'll be down below okay I'm gonna put both of these crochet alongs in the description under this video so you can find both of them and you can start both of them the reason why I would suggest you to start or look at them at least now and download the parts is because then uh, so sorry the Thea one is a paid pattern and the Winnie's Wonder I think I, I think it's a free pattern I'm not 100% sure but for crochet alongs that are free I would always recommend for you to even if you don't plan on making it right away is to just download the parts because then often when the crochet along is finished it becomes into a paid pattern and then as you know with me from the beginning of this channel there were so many um, mandalas that I worked on where the patterns not even available anymore and that was kind of sad to me because I was so excited to share the mandalas that I've been making and working on and some of them were not even available anymore so I would definitely recommend for you to check out these crochet alongs these are things I will be working on behind the scenes I will try to share pictures here and there and I will try to try to share some of my progress of course and yeah um, I think I will end today's video here 
Let me know in the comments what did you work on today while watching today's video or let me know what you plan to work on this coming weekend. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, I hope you have a wonderful crochetful day and I'll see you again soon. Bye.